Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at something a little bit different. What we have here is the Beast Kingdom Egg Attack Spider Gwen. And this figure is not really that new. I think it came out maybe about six months ago. That's about when I started to see her pop up in GameStop. And I've had my eye on it for a long time. I really wanted to get this figure, but I didn't want to pay what GameStop was charging. I think it was somewhere like, it was almost like $90 or something. It was like an insane amount. I know these figures are pretty expensive no matter where you buy them but i just couldn't get myself to pay that much luckily she popped up on amazon for like 35 bucks so i got her for under 40 dollars shipped so for that price is an incredible price for these figures so i was really happy about that and i'm always impressed by egg attack figures they're always really really nice and you'll see what i mean once we open it up so let's go ahead and get into it starting with the packaging you are able to see spider gwen right here you could see her alternate head uh, my box is a little banged up maybe that's why why <laughs> it was a little less expensive you can see it's ripped over here kind of ripped over here but you know who cares the box is garbage anyways and then we have the figure posed right here in front throwing up her um her thwip hand so that's really cool on the side we get a look at spider gwen unmasked that's nice on the back we get a look at her doing all kinds of cool stuff hanging out we get a bunch of cool information about the figure what it comes with all that good stuff over here we get a look at spider gwen let's see what we have on the bottom bunch of bullshit on the top it says marvel spider-man and that's about it so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at this figure so here we have Gwen Stacy right out of the box and this figure looks very very nice it's really impressive how well they do the soft goods and they still look very comic book accurate obviously it's like a stylized version of Gwen Stacy but it looks really really cool I just love the way these little things look they look so I don't want to say <laughs> cute because I'm gonna lose some street cred but they look so like cute and like adorable you know I don't know what it is but uh, they look so nice and the soft goods are just so well done. Uh, the one thing I do dislike about this figure is the way that they did the eyes. Because they are uh, held onto the front of her face with little magnets. So that's cool so that you could change them out and stuff. But the magnets are really weak. Like, check that out. They fall right off when you're trying to put her hood over her head. It knocks them right off. So that kind of sucks. And that looks super creepy. So that's cool. But uh, yeah. I wish the magnets were a little bit stronger on the eyes. I could appreciate that they were trying to make it really easy to make her eyes interchangeable. So that's really cool. But I just wish the magnets were a little bit stronger. But aside from that, there's nothing that jumps out to me about this figure that I dislike. I, I love the way it looks. I it's so cool how they're able to do like the comic book um, accurate clothing or the comic book accurate look with soft goods clothing like this it's really really nice and I really like the way they did the head it's not just plain boring white plastic it kind of has like a pearlescent reflective look to it and it looks really really cool and then you have the uh, silver eyes that have the pink around them that looks nice you can see the nose sculpted in there you can see the ears sculpted in there and I just think the head sculpt looks really really good the hood is very well done too but mine is a little creased up from being in the packaging but it looks nice and check out how nice the pattern on the inside looks it's very well done so that's cool and there is a metal wire on the lining of the hood so you could do anything that you'd want someone that has a hood to do with it you know you could bring it down like that flare it out a little bit you could do all kinds of good stuff so that's awesome and the only problem you have putting the hood on is that you might knock off the eyes and other than that the hood goes on with no problem at all so that's very cool and then the costume is very well done too. All the details look very comic book accurate, so that's nice. And at first I thought that it was just the white traditional cloth on the white parts and then everything else was an overlay. But it looks like the pink stuff here is actually just regular cloth. So I'm not sure how they did that, but that's really cool. So the only overlay that we have here is the black part. And I mean this stuff, I'm not even sure what it is, if it's like vinyl or plastic or whatever it is. It looks good and stuff, but... It worries me because I think that it might crack over time. That's the same concern I have with like a lot of Mezco figures. And I think that's going to be the case here. In fact, you could see down in between the legs here, it is starting to crack. So I could probably just get like some a marker or something and hide that. But, um, you know, that, that worries me a little bit because it makes me feel like I'm not going to be able to uh, move her legs that much. So she's definitely not going to be able to do the splits or anything like that. So, but you know, that's okay. But yeah, aside from that, I think the costume details are very nice. The stitching is very well hidden. You can see that it runs uh, along the arm on the underside. Same thing over here. So that's awesome. And then on the back, we have stitching running down the back, which you could hardly see. So that's cool. And let's see what else we have going on here. The fist is a pearlescent white as well. 
So that's cool that that matches the head. And then moving down to the feet here, you've got her little uh, booties, I think. Is that what they're called? <laughs> they kind of look like ballet shoes or something. But yeah, they look good. And uh, yeah, I just like the costume details on this figure. It looks really, really nice. Very comic book accurate, but the whole thing feels like original because, as I said, it, it is obviously like a stylized thing here. But I just really love how they make the costume details so comic book accurate. So that is really, really awesome. And Spider-Gwen does come with a lot of really nice accessories, but let's start off with the simple stuff. First off, we have multiple sets of hands, starting with a pair of fists, and then we have a set of... It looks like trigger finger hands. She doesn't come with any guns or anything, so I'm not sure what's up with the trigger finger hands. But she has those. And then she has a set of open hands. And then she has a set of thwip hands. And then finally, she has a set of hands with uh, pointer fingers extended. So that's cool. And she does come with four different sets of eyes. The eyes that are on her inside of the packaging are the widest of the four. And then she comes with a couple of smaller sets. And then she comes with a really small set of eyes that kind of look like she's squinting or something. But those are really cool. And then you could also like mix and match them. So I like that there's all kinds of different display options. And earlier I said that the eyes fall off really easy. And that seems to be the case with the heaviest eyes, the ones that are on her inside of the packaging. But the smaller eyes you use, the harder they are to knock off her face. They're, they don't stay on there that um, securely but the smaller they are the lighter the plastic is and the better they stay on the face so and she does come with two different heads obviously she comes with the standard masked spider gwen head and then we have the unmasked gwen stacy head and i think this looks really good too i like the way that the hair also has that shiny reflective look just like the masked head i think that's dope and i like how the skin just has a regular like flat skin type of look to it i think that's a cool contrast between the hair and the skin i think that looks dope and uh, yeah, I think that looks good. That's a really cool unmasked head. And she does have interchangeable eyes. And in order to mess with those, all you have to do, you could pull the head all the way off if you want. Or you could just pull her hair off. There we go. Pull the front of the face off. And then you can move her eyes around. So that's always fun. You could always do crazy stuff. People always take crazy pictures with, uh, with characters with their eyes doing crazy things. So that's kind of cool. That's a fun, fun feature to have on an action figure. I always like that. And one thing about it, though, it is hard to get her eyes <laughs> to not look weird. I think the best way to go is to have her kind of looking off to the side. I think that looks good there. And then all you have to do is pop the face back onto the head. And I always have a little bit of trouble doing this. Take the hair. Stick it back on. And there we go. So, yeah, you have Gwen Stacy looking off to the side like that. And I like that. I think that's very cool. I'm probably going to display her like this. I'm not too sure yet, but I think this looks good. And she does have a couple of web accessories, but they're pretty generic. Nothing special here. I can't even really get her to hold them or anything. So it seems like they just included these just to say that they did, you know. <laughs> There's nothing really cool about these. They're just pieces of plastic, really. So I wish the web accessories were a little bit better. And then she also comes with this cool little backpack and this thing is nice but it was really hard to get on her. The plastic was really stiff and you kind of had to bend her arms back and slip it in there but this thing is very rigid. It doesn't give you much play at all so I wish the plastic was a little softer on that so it wasn't such a stressful ordeal to try to get the backpack onto the figure. But once it's on there it looks cool. There's not a whole bunch of detail to it but I think it works. And then for her final accessory she comes with this really nice looking stand. And right here it says Spider-Gwen, and on the stand itself it says Spider-Man. And it's a little three-piece stand. It has the, the base, a post, and then a little clip to grab onto the figure itself. And I think this stand is very cool. I have a couple other Beast Kingdom uh, egg attack figures, and I leave them displayed on the stand because I like the way that they look. I don't think they take up very much space. And yeah, I think they're awesome. And now for some quick size comparisons. Unfortunately, I don't have any Spider-Man egg attack figures. So we're going to have to settle for these awesome X-Men figures here. On the left, we have Cyclops. And on the right, we have Wolverine. Both of these were Comic-Con exclusive. And I love both of them. They are absolutely awesome. And then next up, we have Gwen Stacy along with one of the Disney Vinylmation's um, Spider-Man figures. And the Marvel Legends Spider-Ham. And then we have her alongside a Marvel Universe Thanos and a Marvel Universe Better Ray Bill. And then, of course, we have her with 
Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Bucky Cap. Last but not least, we have her alongside the Marvel Legends Venom and Marvel Legends Miles Morales. And the articulation on these Egg Attack figures is always really impressive to me. I'm always blown away by the amount that they're able to stuff into these little bodies. Gwen here does have a couple of hindrances because of the way that her costume is designed, but aside from what I mentioned before with the lower legs, she has some really nice articulation. But let's go ahead and get into it, starting with the head. It does move side to side. It's got a nice little tilt to it considering how big it is that's pretty surprising look at that that's awesome and she could look up to about right there and she could look down to right there so look at that that's dope really nice head movement and it just it kind of i think it's like a not sure what kind of joints in there but it gets some great range look at that you could kind of tilt it to the side and stuff so really nice movement at the head and it's really really tight but yeah Really good articulation there. And then for the torso, what do we have going on here? She's got like a mid-torso cut. Let's see. She's able to crunch forward to about right there. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, there goes her eye. And it's really, all her joints are really tight, except for in the arms. Had no problems there. I thought I might have creased the material, but it looks like it's all right. And she is able to twist. She is getting the twist from that upper torso joint. She also has a waist joint that... Let's see what else we could do. Kind of helps her get a little bit more range on that crunch. So that's cool. You know, very similar to, um, you know, Mezco or Diamond Select nowadays and other imports. She's got that double torso joint going on there. A mid torso cut and a waist cut. Using both of them, you could do some great stuff. You could get her to go to the side. There we go. So that's pretty nice. Go lean back, only to about right there, and then her suit gets pretty uh, crunched up there. But yeah, that's pretty good range on the torso. And then for the arms, I discovered something kind of strange when I was messing with this figure. Her shoulders kind of come out, and I don't know if they're like, they have like springs or something, but look at that. You like pull them out, and they kind of pop back in. So that's kind of strange. But anyways, our arm does go up to about right there the costume doesn't really hinder it too much so that's good come back a nice amount and she does have like oh yeah she does have like a butterfly joint oh that's awesome so you could get her arms out in front of her a really good amount oh that's dope have her like in a boxing stance Awesome stuff right there. Those are nice uh, shoulder joints, but I wonder what's up with that like popping out deal. That's weird. Anyway, she has upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Look at that. <laughs> Make it a pretty decent bend. And then she has a swivel at the wrist. There it goes. We got a swivel at the wrist and it's on a little ball joint. So, you know, you get some movement around, you know, that's nice. And then for the legs, so yeah, the legs kind of scare me, but let's go for it. So, her legs can kick forward to about right there. They could come back only to about right there, so not very much going back. And let's see how far we could get them to go to the side. Again, I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to ruin the material. So, I could comfortably get her leg out to about right there. I'm not going to get both of her legs to do that at the same time, but that's okay. You could get her into some cool, like, jumping poses with just that. So that's nice. And then there is an upper thigh swivel, a double-jointed knee, which is pretty good. Check that out. And then we have a another little ball joint at the ankle. So, whoa, look at that. Oh, is it, oh it's like a double ball joint. Okay, cool. Nice. And then you have a swivel. And then you have a toe joint. Bam, there you go. So that's that's an amazing amount of articulation and to such a small, weird, little stylized body. So that is really, really dope. I'm really impressed with the torso and the arms and the head, actually. So the only weak point of the articulation is the legs. And even those aren't that bad. It's just the material kind of, you know, kind of makes me worry. So I, I would suggest being very careful with the legs. But other than that, you could uh, play with this figure a lot. The upper body does a lot of cool stuff. So awesome articulation on this little figure. 
Alright guys, so at the end of the day, I realize that these types of figures are not for everybody, and to be honest with you, these aren't typically the type of thing that I get into, but for whatever reason, these damn egg attack figures got me, because so far I have thoroughly enjoyed all the ones that I have. Yes, I only have three, but I've been blown away by each and every one of them, and Spider-Gwen is no exception. She is such a nice looking figure, I love the costume design, and the way that they did it, I like how they're able to get like such a comic book accurate look, but still be like stylized and weird you know so i'm really happy with this figure the articulation is great she has a bunch of really cool accessories all those eyes and hands the extra head the backpack the stand everything about it is cool so i'm really happy with what i have here and you know i might be a little bit more hyped up on this figure because i got it for such a good price if i would have paid full price i would have still liked it but you know 80 bucks is 80 bucks so i would have kind of been like ah but at the end of the day i would have still been very happy with the figure so you know what for me i'm gonna keep looking out for good deals on these egg attack figures there are some that i'm gonna buy regardless like i plan on picking up the upcoming venom figure and i plan on getting the classic peter parker spider-man i will definitely pay full price for that one because it looks incredible and if it's anywhere near the quality of the ones I have I'll be completely happy and as far as Gwen goes I'm really happy that I was able to get this figure because like I said I was eyeballing it for a while I knew that I was gonna like it so I'm happy that the opportunity came along and I was able to grab it at the price that I was able to so um, if you're interested in picking up this figure I believe she's still on Amazon and she might be even less expensive than what I paid I think last time I looked she was like 28 bucks or something so if you're interested in that be sure to check that out I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below if you want to try to pick her up. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend grabbing this figure right now while it's um, while it's a good price. And But even if you end up paying full price, I'm sure <laughs> that you'll like this figure because it's so incredibly well done. But uh, yeah, anyways, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Peace.